Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ryan Sims from CG Hacks, and in this video, we're going to talk about making realistic shadows for your Photoshop composites by using the actual shadow from the actual image so it actually looks real. Wow, that are... that are? That is... Let's, nah. Nah. What are words today? It's a lot of actuals in that opening statement. So let's actually do this. So here we are in Photoshop. I've got my Master Chief here and his gun in the foreground, and right now they have no shadow. So we want to bring that shadow from the original image back into this comp. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn off these layers here so we can look at the original image, which is this image right here. And you see these shadows right here on the floor. These are the shadows that we want to bring into the image. So one quick way that we can do that is to go down to our original background layer. Hit Control J to duplicate that. And we're gonna rename this layer, Shadow. And then from there, we're gonna go over to our channels. And from here, we're gonna look at the channel that has the most contrast. So we can look at red, look at green, look at blue, but I already know it's gonna be blue. We have the most contrast and shadow on our blue layer. So I'm gonna take this blue channel and I'm going to duplicate it by dragging it here. And from here, I'm going to hit Control L to bring up our levels menu. And what I could do from here is I could click on this little icon here, this little eyedropper, to click on the brightest part of our highlights. And then click on this little icon to select the darkest part of our shadows here. And we can create contrast that way. Or we can just grab these sliders and create a lot more contrast a lot faster that way. But you kind of want to get it to like this to where those shadows are really predominant and everything else is kind of blown out just a little bit right there. I'm going to hit OK. And from there, I'm going to hit Control I to invert our channel. And real quick, I'm just going to grab our lasso tool and I'm just going to make a quick mask, trying not to grab the background, but leaving in some of the shadows here from the knee and the feet and just making a real quick selection there. And from there, I want to select the opposite side of this. So I'm going to hold down Control Shift I to invert. And I'm going to hit Delete to make everything black. And Control D to deselect. And now from here, I'm just going to grab a black brush and just kind of paint out some of these little extra details here that we don't need. There we go. And from there, I'm going to hold down Control and click on this mask right here. Go back to my Layers menu. And then with shadow selected, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the mask tool. And now we have our mask for our shadows. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag this up right below Chief here. And then turn all of my layers back on. And there is our shadow layer. And of course we can finesse the mask from here if we need to blur the foreground to match this foreground object. But that's just a quick way that we can add the original shadows from our original image into our comp. So if you have the pleasure of shooting your own subjects like I do, this is a great way to add the shadows from your images to your actual composites because it's the actual real shadows. No, I am not going down the actual rabbit hole again. I get not again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving us a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this and leave a comment in the comment <clears throat> Leave a comment in the comment section below on what you'd like to see us work on next. For more information, please visit cghacks.com. Until next time, create more, say less, and stay creative, my friends.